but a storm can come on us very quick. So we've got fingers crossed because we need it. This heat makes them all a little bit crazy. I'm standing about 20 meters from these warthogs. They haven't seen me because I've just frozen. Now he's just hurt me. Young male. Pride Kingfisher family. The birds like us are hot. If a storm comes, everybody's going to be happy. Everybody's being very weird at the moment. All the animals and birds, they're not flying away, they're not running away. Everyone's just too hot. Today, after 45 degrees of heat for nearly two weeks, we've had an inch of rain practically, which is fantastic. So I was just crossing now these rocks to go to the hippo and literally blow my feet with a crocodile. I nearly stood on it, I couldn't believe it. I'd left the video behind because I was worried about dropping it in the river, but I've come back to get it. And now I'm going to go back hoping the croc's still there. From him. I wasn't even looking at the ground and I suddenly realised there was a crocodile in front of me. I mean, it's if he doesn't want to move. He's not a particularly huge crocodile, but even so, it's very unusual for them to stay put like this. They can move very fast if they want to. He's about maximum two meters, probably less. I must say I've never been this close to a wild crocodile. I think with the river coming up a bit, he just doesn't want to move. I really like crocodiles. They fascinate me. They're very intelligent too. They know exactly what I am. I've been coming here for so many years, I'm sure most of them know me anyway. This guy wouldn't be that old. Teenager, basically. the web feet. It's what I love about walking in Africa, you never know what you're going to meet. And this is just where the hippos are, they're just past these rocks here, where the reeds are there in the water. The pool the hippos are in at the moment is a very small one, but for some reason they prefer it to a larger one. I think it's because we've been so hot here. We've been hitting mid-40s now for nearly two weeks. And this pool has got, as you can see, a lot of reeds, so they can get a bit of shelter. I'm actually about five meters, four meters away from them here. But they don't mind because they know me and they react to the sound of my voice. Thank you, sir. Hello, Miss Bruce. Hello, my girl. Hey, Bon Bon. Hello, Bon Bon. This leopard has just been spotted by Marinda, my volunteer. We're on the way back to Hippohaven. This leopard is just in the bush. It's late afternoon. This is fantastic. I'm going to try turning the car off, but he might disappear. 
Marinda is very lucky to see this leopard. She's the first of my volunteers here to actually see a leopard in the daylight. Usually we hear them, but we don't see them. This is fantastic. <laughs> 